and today we're talking about Percy Jackson stuff! So hello everyone! I don't know if you're aware, but it's been 10 years since Percy Jackson was let out into our lives. And in celebration, Disney Hyperion has sent me a box of Percy stuff to unbox! And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't know if you remember the last Percy unboxing I got to do, but it was so cool and so fun. And I'm so excited. And we're also gonna talk about Percy Jackson's Greek God. Because guess who's read it? Me, me, me. I've actually been listening to it via audiobook and it's been super fun. I've learned so much stuff. I love learning about the Greek gods. I find it so interesting and it's so much fun coming out of Percy's mouth. You thought it was fun when you learned a little bit about it in school. It's a whole nother level of awesome. When I was younger, like 9, 10, 11, I had this Greek myths book and it looked like this, except it wasn't Percy Jackson and it had illustrations and stuff and I loved it. And this, I can't imagine having this book would just be 10 million times cooler. There's so much more in here and it's told in such a funny way. Definitely read this five out of five stars. I actually have a chapter left, so I didn't finish it yet, but I don't care. It's definitely gonna be a five out of five stars. You wanna hear some things I learned? This is no way a spoiler because it's just Greek mythology. And also, like I said, there's about 10,000 stories in here, so there's no spoiling. <laughs> Aphrodite, right? Where the hell did Aphrodite come from? I always kind of wonder, whose child was she? Well, we know Kronos, right? That big jerk. Well, before Kronos, there was Gaia, you know, that big bitch, his mom, and the sky, Oranos, Oranos, you know who I'm talking about. Sky. There was Sky on Earth. I had kids. Gaia was like, oh my god, I hate this dude I'm married to. Kids, can you like chop him up and kill him for me? So they did, and Kronos led the pack because, you know, he's a go-getter. And he chopped up his dad, and some of him fell into the ocean. And the parts that fell into the ocean wiggled and congealed and out popped Aphrodite out of the ocean. Out of the blood of Kronos' daddy. <gasps> what even? And a story that I really, really liked, you know Prometheus? You always hear about Prometheus. He made us humans out of clay, and then we were humans on the ground. And one day he decided that the humans should have fire that would help them along their path to evolve into intelligent beings. And he told Zeus, and Zeus was like, you best not be giving them fire. They're gonna think they're real cool shit. They're gonna think that they're as good as us. And they ain't. Prometheus laughed and he was like, but that's not fair. I really like them. They should have fire. So he gave it to us anyway. <laughs> and we had fire and Zeus looked down there and he was like, what the f I said no, bitch. I said no. Prometheus can't get away with this shit. I can't look bad in for my people. So what Zeus did was tie Prometheus to a rock and have this eagle come and eat his liver out every day. And since Prometheus is mortal, his liver goes back. Then every day, the eagle comes and eats it out of him. That sounds fun. But that wasn't enough punishment for Zeus. He wanted to like punish humans. Bitch, you are supposed to have fire. You are nothing. So he wanted to do this through Prometheus's mortal brother. And Prometheus warned his bro. He was like, don't accept any gifts from Zeus because he's out to get us. But Zeus made him a gift. A gift full of things to hurt the humans. He kept sending messengers to drop it off. He kept being like, sorry, no, I don't have any presents coming for me. This isn't mine. There must be a mistake here. I can't accept this, but thanks. And Zeus was like, God <laughs> damn it, just accept my present. Aphrodite came to the rescue. You know what, Zeus? I have a gift that he won't be able to resist. A woman. Love. The gods come together to create this perfect woman. Perfect for opening presents and for being Prometheus's bro's wife. And guess what her name was? Pandora! You know? You know about Pandora and the box. So they send down Pandora and he's like, oh hi. Hello, I love you. Be my husband. That happens. Then Zeus sends down his gift when Pandora's home. She opens the door. Ooh, a box for me! And her husband comes out and is like, no, don't open it. Don't open any presents. She sets it on the table and she's like, okay, I won't open it. But the gods made her really curious because they wanted her to open the freaking box. After two days, she couldn't help herself anymore. She opened the box and she unleashed all sorts of diseases and tragedies upon humanity. And also, at the bottom of the box is hope. So they left us a little present to get us through all the shit so humans can always hope. Everything else in the box tore us down. It was Pandora's fault. And that's why people say, you've just opened Pandora's box. That was so cool. I've always wondered. 
always wonder. There's a million other really awesome things like that in here. You gotta read it or listen to the audiobook. I have an Audible affiliate link. That's where I get my audiobooks. I have a subscription. And every month they give you a credit to get an audiobook. And audiobooks are usually like 20 to $30. If you use my link below, you get a free two week trial and you get a book for free. So that is my book talk slash review for Percy Jackson's Greek Gods. Highly, highly recommend. I'm so happy that I read it. Now tis time. Tis time to unbox the unboxing. <laughs> Box. Scissors. Oh no, I dropped the box. I did it. <gasps> Ooh. Thanks for celebrating 10 years of the Percy Jackson series with us. <gasps> You're welcome. Hashtag read Rarden. Here you'll find almost everything you need to survive a summer at Camp Half Blood. Oh, that's cool. Weapons not included. Damn it, I was looking forward to weapons. Don't forget to share photos of your presents from Percy using hashtag read Rarden. This is so exciting. Now I'll like actually be ready to hit Camp Half Blood. Oh, if I was gonna have a weapon, what do you think my weapon would be? Annabeth has her knife. I always want a katana, like on The Walking Dead. So hesitantly, my weapon is katana. Do they use those in Greece? <gasps> Ooh. <gasps> oh my god, look, look. Oh my god, it's the complete series with the new covers. The new ugly covers. It's a box set. I wanna open it. Presents, presents. The side is New York. <gasps> Wait, they make a mural when they're all together, right? Ooh, what's this? What's this? <gasps> a baby poster! I want to put it on my wall forever. My room in New Jersey. I have a wall perfect for all my bookish posters. Here, I don't have one. I don't make one. Oh man! It's a backpack! I got a backpack, a Percy Jackson and the Olympians backpack! Because I needed this to go to camp. <gasps> Look at me! Look at me! <sighs> Let's open the backpack. <gasps> a sweatshirt! Oh, it's a hoodie this time. Oh, I love it. I love it. <gasps> and a water bottle. This time, not made out of a plastic bag. That's quality. That's quality. For my daily water needs. <gasps> oh, what even? Percy Jackson <laughs> throwaway camera for all my adventures. I don't even know they still made these. What the fudge? There's directions on how to use it in case you don't know what a real camera is. I used to use these all the time in the old days before I was old enough for a camera because I was always obsessed with taking pictures and photo albums and stuff. So my mom used to buy me like the throwaway ones and I used to take pictures with them and then she'd get them developed for me and I felt like like a real photographer by age six. This is so retro. Woo! And a pin, the lightning thief, 10 years old. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha! I can't believe it's 10 years old. You're still really little. But you've been relevant for 10 whole years and that's a huge accomplishment. This is the new paperback cover and let's compare to the old original cover. Which one stands out to you? I think it's this one. I think it's this one. The last thing my backpack is, oh my God. It's Percy Jackson headphones. I can listen to my audiobooks with these. Wait, <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. This item is essential to attending Camp Half Blood. You know how they love that technology up in there. Am I right? Ooh. And one last pin. I was at the bookstore the other day. Someone was standing next to me looking at the Percy Jackson cover. They leaned over to their friend and were like, look at these knockoffs. Look at these rip-off Harry Potter books. And I'm standing there like, those are not rip-off Harry Potter books. You know nothing. I actually turned. I couldn't help myself. I, I needed to say something. They're not like Harry Potter at all. They're, all, they're their own thing. That's Percy Jackson. It's great. And the dude's like, one time I had to read it to some kids. I was babysitting and I'll know about that. People! You know when that rumor went online that the covers together make a mural? Do you think they were actually just talking about the spines? <gasps> Where is the mural here? Do you see a mural here? Wait, do you? I think my favorite of these new kind of blending into every other cover covers though have to be the Battle of the Labyrinth, which is actually kind of cool. And the Sea of Monsters one is actually pretty awesome. The thing is the color scheme makes it blend into everything else and also the title of the book is in small tiny letters at the bottom in white. You can't know what book it is. They all just say Percy Jackson and the Olympians. They all blend together.
together. But these are definitely my favorite ones. This one's actually nicer than the original cover. In image? These original covers stand out so much because each one has its own color. And the title of the book, which on these, it's a little afterthought blurb along the bottom. They all just say the same thing at the top. They're so similar. This is the Titan's Curse. The image is really similar. But this one stands out more on the shelf. I know Titan's Curse as the purple one. So that was my 10th anniversary Percy Jackson unboxing. If you haven't read the Percy Jackson books yet, read them. This is the summer of Percy. Celebrate him. I have book talks for every single one of the Percy Jackson books. If you haven't checked them out yet, I had so much fun doing them. Percy Jackson's Greek Heroes is available for pre-order, plus a new interactive Rick Riordan ebook is being released on July 14th called The Demigods of Olympus, an interactive adventure. And Madness Chase is coming out in the fall. I am pumped. It is a big year for hashtag Rick Riordan. Thanks for watching, I'm Christine. I'll talk to you next time. Oh my god, I just realized this poster is the mural. These are the book covers in mural form. They connect. Still, I'm not gonna be displaying that on my wall in a case. Cut to next time you see me. Look at this case. <laughs>